cacao before it becomes chocolate. <laughs> Okay, so this is how you make real chocolate the way the Mayans did. The first thing you need to do is you need to de-bean the cacao fruit. Yes, cacao is a fruit, and yes, cacao is the name of chocolate. After you've removed the pith from the beans, you need to roast the crude beans for 20 minutes in order for the skin to be able to uh, come off the bean. And they decided to let a gringa try roasting the cacao. <laughs> I thought it was probably funny, and I bet it was great entertainment for them for the day. So, as you probably know, cacao was uh, used heavily by the Mayans, and the first use for it was for hot chocolate, and it was used uh, with chili, and it was called the drink of the gods. And here the smoke is getting in my face, and in my lungs so I decide to let Lucy finish and after we finish roasting you peel the skins off first couple of beans I completely crushed because I'm just so strong uh, but I eventually got the hang of it and it was fun and here's me trying rock a cow The word I used was zingy, but it was really more like a bitter burnt peanut. Here's Lucy shaking the peel away from the beans. And they decided to let me try, and I was an epic fail. <laughs> I spilled cacao beans all over the floor, picking them up. But, you know, I tried, and <laughs> it was fun to be a part of the process. Really, making chocolate is an art form, and it takes a long time, a lot of practice to develop the skills and finesse to make it correctly. Okay, so I completely lost the footage for rolling out the hot beans um, into the paste that makes the discs that you see on the table. But, uh, we're just skipping to the table, I guess. So Lucy's trying to teach me how to flatten out the cacao paste. This cacao uh, has sugar and ginger in it. And as you can see, uh, I'm a total gringa. I am an epic failure at flattening out this chocolate. I do not have the finesse and the skills that Lucy has. But to her advantage, she has been doing this for 10 years. So <laughs> I'm not going to be as good as a professional. And Lucy is amazing at this. She can pound out like a whole set of eight of these discs in five minutes. I'm struggling to get one done in just three. <laughs> and if you can hear my teacher in the background, she's laughing at me and I keep moving the chocolate all over the table. But even though the chocolate making process looks easy, it really isn't. I mean, the steps aren't hard. You pick the fruit, you take the pith off the bean, you roast the bean, shell the bean, and then you grind the beans up into a paste with sugar and whatever spices you want. And then you form it into the shape that you want. So it's not actually a complicated process. It just takes a long time to finesse, and I definitely have a much... Uh, I definitely appreciate the hard work that goes into making real and good quality chocolate now. Um, it takes a lot of effort, it takes a lot of skill, and it takes a lot of practice. And I don't think when I get back to the States that I'll be buying Hershey, Nestle, or Mars anymore. After tasting real chocolate, it is hard uh, to go back. <laughs> Mine's way too big. Mayan hot chocolate that I made myself. Lucy just poured it for me. She finished it off. And that is the traditional Mayan chocolate making process. 
Unfortunately, big corporations like Hershey, Nestle, Mars, Lint, etc., many more, have not only perverted the wonderful being that is cacao, but have also used slave and child labor to make it. That's why our average chocolate bar only costs around $1. It's cheapened chocolate and it's cheap labor. Your chocolate, cacao farmers, honest chocolatiers in your taste buds are worth more than $1 of cheap pleasure that only lasts two minutes. Check out the links in the, in the description box below to find delicious and fair trade chocolate. And please, like Lucy and Daniel's page on Facebook. Once again, thanks for watching this video. Take care. God bless. Adios.